Antibiotics have saved millions of lives um, in, in the world and continue to do so. However, um, due to overuse of antibiotics uh, in humans, prescribing them for when there's no need for it, for growth promotion in uh, poultry uh, raising and cattle raising and so on, all this induced a resistance of the microbes against existing antibiotics. As Louis Pasteur said already in the 19th century, microbes will always have the last word. Doomsday scenario is that we will go back to the area from before there were antibiotics, which means that not only that people will die from you know, treatable infections, but also that major surgery will become impossible because infection is a big, big issue. We are now getting into very, very dangerous waters. I'm optimistic that uh, we can turn the tide now, um, but uh, only if we act now. We actually know exactly what, uh, what works. Let's say more discipline from the side of the medical prescribers so that they don't give in sometimes the pressure of the patient. They said, I want antibiotics because my child is uh, coughing or whatever. So that's a lot of behavior change and, and uh, uh, education. Working with agricultural industry, countries like uh, Denmark and the Netherlands, they've reduced by over 50% the use of antibiotics in growth promotion in agriculture. And that was possible without any economic loss. These are major, major exporters of, uh, of meat and fish. For a few decades now, we have not seen any new antibiotics uh, on the market. There need to be incentives for pharmaceutical industry in collaboration with academia to explore new antibiotics. This requires strong political leadership because it's a mixture of behavior change, policies, incentives, various sectors. So there is a momentum, but um, the time is running out. We have now enough studies, declarations, paper and so on. So now let's move.